Hello class, um, so today we're going to do the area between two curves. Um, it's a little bit what I was explaining yesterday. Um, so we'll do that today and you'll have a practice question today. Uh, make sure you work through the practice question um, because tomorrow you're going to have um, a couple uh, questions to do for mastery. Okay, and then uh, moving forward we'll start looking at um, after we do area between two graphs we have uh, to do integrating the binomial and we'll finish that up this week and maybe on Friday we'll start our first ACE example so um, we should be good to go for the test on Friday okay <clears throat> so area between two graphs so this is basically what most of your ACE style questions will look like so you obviously you can see there's two different graphs on here and they want you to find the area that's bounded between these two graphs. So if we have this graph as f of x and this graph of g of x, the way you find the area between the two and the blue here are, that's your limits of integration still. Okay, so the area of a region bounded between two graphs is found by this formula. So you, you evaluate it from a to b as normal and you evaluate this one from a to b then you subtract the integration of g from a to b. Okay, so it simplifies basically this. So it's the integration of f of x from a to b minus the integration of g of x from a to b. And that gives you the area bounded between the two graphs. <coughs> okay, so let's do an example. Okay, so the diagram shows the curve um, uh, negative x squared plus 8x minus 5 and the line x plus 1. They intersect at these two points. So that's here and here. And so find the area of the shaded region. That's the red part. <coughs> okay, so using the formula that I just gave you, um, I'm not going to write the formula down. So it's basically it's going to be uh, the blue is my f of x, the green is my g of x. So the area um, we're going, so your x value is from 1 to 6. Okay, so I'm going to do, uh, let's see, oh, sorry, x, I have that one, and then it's minus the integration 1 to 6 of x plus 1. So, oops, dx. Okay, so when you have two integrations like this, you set them up separately. As long as the limits of integration are the same, then you can basically simplify this as uh, you just move this out front. Okay, then you simplify it. I have negative x squared. So I have 8x minus x. So it gives me 7x. I have negative 5 minus 1. It gives me negative 6. And you can do that as long as the limits of integration are the same. You can just combine it into one and then simplify the expression. <coughs> okay, so let's integrate this. So negative x squared, that's negative one-third x cubed. Okay, 7x, that's 7 halves x squared. And then 6 is just 6x. Okay? Evaluated from 1 to 6. Okay, so we get negative 1 third, 6 cubed, so 7 halves, 6 squared, minus 6 times 6, minus, plug in 1, so it's just going to make all this go to 1. Okay, evaluate all that out, and you'll get something like, um, Quick, it's a pretty big number. Anyways, the book gives it as 20 and 5 6, <coughs> which, as you know, um, I don't know why the book gives it that way because they do not want mixed numbers. Okay, so uh, see, 20 times 6 is 120 plus so 125 
over 6. <coughs> that's how you should write that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, it's just basically integrating uh, just like we've done area under a curve, but now you're doing with two curves, so you just integrate both curves and you subtract the difference. Pretty much all there is to that. So here's the practice example. Um, I'll go over this tomorrow in tomorrow's video. So go ahead and try this on your own. Um, you can send it to me if you need questions, if you're trying to work through it, um, or you can just wait to see the solutions for tomorrow. Alright, have a good day.